Welcome to another Zen hack. So in this one, this is really important. And I want you to know that we have training on tagging. You've only got to go to Google and put Zenla tagging to understand. So that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tagging inside Zenla. A lot of you guys are using the kind of old fashioned method of email lists, which are kind of good, but separating out. But you can do the same thing with tagging. So by default, if uh, say 100 people join a course and 100 people come in as leads, even without tagging them, custom tagging them, you can filter them because Zenla has advanced filtering based on so many criteria built into it. So you could say, right, okay, I want to target the audience that are in this course. So you just use the advanced filters, find the course, enrolled in course, all users, bang, you'll just get all those 100 users. If you do all contacts, it will be all 200, including leads and students. But on top of that, every time someone comes in or buys a course or goes into your marketing funnel or giant joins a live or registers in any way you have the ability to tag them so you can tag them with custom ones so if i've got a cohort of users coming into um, a course say in march i could tag them mar and then i could change that tag in april to apr and that way i would be able to know exactly when those cohort users come through there okay it's a little bit of a min work but if that's what I want to do, then that's what I will do to make sure that I can categorize these people coming through. Rather, of course, you can look at the dates as well, filter on that, but it's kind of like it's more that you actually are tagging your users as they come into the platform itself. Tagging, really, really, really important. We've got lots of training videos on this, and it's really important that you understand it for, especially for email segmentation and also targeting that correct audience coming into your site. So this is a massive Zenla tip uh, from us at Port Eve, Sri Lanka.